Hey, what's up guys? Sean back with another video, and we've got Zaylin. Now, I saw a clip of her show the other day when I was watching this Dirty Enabler video, and I definitely wanted to see the full thing, because her husband, whatever you want to call him, the Chubby Chaser, the Plumper Pounder, the Thickum Thrasher, I don't know. Give him a nickname, but he was super toxic, and just basically trying to sabotage her right after surgery. She made the right choice, but... I don't know, I think she could have ditched him and she could have lost way more weight. I don't know if she ever did, but that's why I want to see this full episode. So, let's check out Zaylin, see what's going on in her life. I don't want him to look like he doesn't care, because I know somewhere inside of his heart, he must care. There's something so right about putting bacon on food. Bacon's fire. When you realize that you have to make a change or you're gonna die, it's surprising what you learn, not just about yourself, but about the people around you. It's kind of crazy because a lot of people feel like you have to have the people around you like support you, which is like true to the, an extent, but ultimately it's all on you. People around me were still eating all the junk food they wanted to eat. I just knew I didn't want it. She cheated. 300, three pounds short. Everything's bigger in Texas. I'm miserable. When you're not just fat, but supersized, everything is really hard. I've definitely shimmied between some shower doors before, but they don't make them wide. No, they definitely make them wide enough. They got to make us less wider, I guess. I'm not living a life. I'm just existing. Does she have underwear? I just hate waking up and oh, being no. in my skin. I really hate being this size. I it sucks. There's no positives really at all, except that you can eat whatever the hell you want. And, I mean, you get to wear comfy clothes all the time because you can't fit the stuff that's like fitted, you know? I have become so immobile. I don't do anything. My days are filled with eating and sitting on the couch, eating, taking a nap. I probably watch seven or eight hours of TV a day. This is no life. All right. When I stand up, it's really, really painful. Why is everyone caked up but me, man? My ass is gone. And these ladies are working with friggin' like jumbo friggin' blimps. I Come on, man. I gotta do some damn squats. It hurts my joints, my knees, my ankles, my hips so much. I want to just sit right back down. The pain's unbearable. Sweet tea. It's just, you know, it's hard. As a child, I was always chubby. I was always fat. I can remember going. I was the smallest of my like three brothers i was seven pounds one ounce 23 inches long when i was born and i ended up the biggest not by much because my older brother's pretty big but i don't know his weight because he says ignorance is bliss through a catalog and circling clothes that i would like to have to go to school in and my mom would say that those aren't the kind of clothes that fat kids wear to school my mother wouldn't allow me to lick envelopes or postage stamps because she thought they had calories freaking envelopes my mom made me lick them suckers. Maybe that's why I'm messed up in the head, all them damn chemicals. Being fat for my mother, it just wasn't an option. Jalen was a normal weight, probably till age five. Elementary. Oh my God, envelopes made me fat. I just realized. I'm blaming envelopes from here on. School, fourth and fifth grade, then it really started coming on and it just seemed like she ballooned overnight and mother would tell her until you lose 10 pounds, you're not getting any more clothes. My mother didn't have time for me, so I fed myself. 
from freshman year to senior year, I went from 170 and ended up at about 375. Okay, yeah, uh, no, I came in higher than that, and I probably left higher than that, but I had no clue. Also, my dad used to offer me money if I could lose weight. He's like, if you drop 50 pounds, I'll give you 500 bucks. Never saw a damn dollar of that, but I tried. The weight just piled on from there they see to the me point where I just it. lost count. 42 years old, and I weigh 550 plus pounds, and I, I feel not too good about that. I bought a scale that goes to 500, but it, it just reads error now. Yeah, mine went to 550 when I was at my heaviest, and I stepped on it, and it said ERR, and I said, I don't know what the hell that means, but we're just going to pretend that the scales broke. Those don't help. When I saw the sweet, sugary cereal aisle, I, my cart just automatically turned. Really? One of the main reasons that I'm fat is because I have this addiction to sugar. But they make, like, Tesla wheelchairs? Like, them things just auto-drive to the sugar? That's crazy. It's my crack cocaine. It's my heroin. It's my everything. Get some frosting from my brownies. I can't believe they have all these different kinds of brownie mixes. Bro, tell me if you guys used to mix those up and eat them raw. Because I didn't bake them half the damn time. I would just eat them raw egg and all, and it didn't kill me, so I'm good. One ice cream, two ice cream. Donuts. Mm. There's like a big bright light shining down. Mm, that's called a stroke. That has nothing to do with the donuts. Mm. It's really, really <laughs> good. It's so sugary sweet and delicious. I just want to make love to them with my mouth. <laughs> Oh my god. Now I know why her husband likes big girls. Did you see what she was just doing to that donut? And she's driving with them within arm's reach. Like, oh, might get hungry at a stoplight. That's crazy. Exactly. It's like a sexual thing for me, obviously. Well, damn. I need some donuts. <sighs> I'm kidding. I don't want them. I know what I'm doing is literally killing me, but I can't stop. Look at the poor kitty. He wanted a piece of that. Damn. For the longest time, I felt totally fine about my weight. I was actually kind of proud of it. I guess proud. at about 19 years old, I found the organization NAFA, the National Association to Advance Fat Acceptance. Bro, that's crazy that they have a freak. Like, I'm planning on joining a BBW dating site. And just putting my profile pic of like a hot dog in my belly button and see what kind of messages I get. Because I bet they would be so funny. If one of you does that, let me know. And that's when I decided, you know, whatever size I am, I'm just going to be this size. Who cares? Jalen and I met at a NAFA gathering. I saw her at the pool wearing a bikini. She, she got the skinny. She girl that her hair was always done, her nails were done. She was the fat girl Look at that. That's the same woman. So she got herself on track. Maybe she could get her friend on track. Rock star. She was impressive. I found that appealing in a friend. We've stayed great friends even though I've lost the weight. Did they have a box when you of go to NAFA, you meet lots of men from different countries. If they have the means and they want to hang out with you, then they're going to pay your way. I was staying in. Bro, are you serious? I could have got free vacations for being fat? They have fat timeshares. Wow. Five-star hotels and skinny dipping in the Mediterranean. I'm having the time. Oh my god, that's a hot tub. S that dude in the middle is dry. How are you in a hot tub and dry? I'd be pissed if that was my like hotel's hot tub because there's no damn water left of my life. I felt like Miss America. You know, I had a cute little matching penny and bra set 
So I took a picture of myself in it and I put it on my profile. That's when I met my husband. She looked so big and comfy and soft and squishy. You know, I, I like big women and she was, she was their queen at the time. Oh my God, look. Fat boy winter's over. The ladies are trading us in for the thinner models right now. So, but winter's coming, ladies. It'll be back, and then you'll need to stay warm again. But this guy, like, what does she think she was going to attract? Posting that as her profile pic. Like, there's no mystery at all. I saw all of her fortune cookie. At 29 years old, I was 520 pounds. That's a quarter of a ton. My weight was starting to take a toll on my health. I went from having this amazing outlook on life to this reclusive person who didn't like herself. That's the thing that nobody really talks about. It's that when you lock yourself inside and you don't want people to see you, I did that for about five, six years. I barely would go out unless I absolutely had to. Social media was not in my, like, not in my life at that time. When I started posting YouTube videos, I was so uncomfortable. Somebody told me the other day I sound like Uncle Fester in my first video. I was like, damn, that's rough. I used to think at night if I don't wake up, I'm okay with that. When I first met Jalen, it was her size that attracted me to her. But now she's gotten so big, it's impossible for us to do anything. And you know, I guess you just got to be careful what you wish for. That's that LDE buddy. I don't think he can get past the cheeks. And that's what's become a problem. This guy was into big girls until he couldn't reach. Driving is a little difficult. I went from first to third. Because <laughs> second doesn't really fit with my thigh. I now have a more important reason than just myself to get healthy. My weight is a bro. Who drives a? St I can't drive a stick. I am not nearly manly enough. I never learned. My dad tried to teach me once, cussed me out because I grind some gears. I jumped out of that sucker. Never learned, which makes me feel very emasculated for some reason. I need to learn. Affecting someone I love. There she is. I have a daughter now, and if I don't do something, she may not have a mom. So how was school today? Good. What'd you do? Now we're doing stuff about plants. I mean, in all fairness, her daughter looks like she's starting out kind of down the same path. I know it's tough to figure out how to, like, feed your kids and stuff because she definitely ain't eating healthy. So how can you tell your kids they have to eat healthy? But when I have children, I really am going to be so careful about that. Wait, it's really affecting her life. But I don't think she realizes how much. That's the absolute hardest part. Come on. <laughs> wow, look at her. I am Hannah's mother, but Bonnie's able to do all the things that I can't do. That's sad, because your children at that age don't realize just how little you can do for them. When she gets older, there might be a little resentment because her mother ate herself to that point and didn't get herself healthy enough to be there for her. So I could imagine growing up and just being totally like mad at your mom for that. She's pretty much raising Hannah. <laughs> it makes me feel a little sad because my mom is missing out on some fun stuff. I'm sure that she never, ever, ever imagined that she... Okay, I know this is a serious moment, but when you're that big, you put your base, like your feet, as wide as you can, so standing up is easier on your knees. It's funny the stuff I realized because I've been that big, and you guys are like, oh, she's just standing up. Nope, she's got a wide base because she's worried about falling back down. You wouldn't be able to be the kind of mother that she always wanted to be for her daughter. I'm afraid that she's gonna die prematurely. Dinner ready? Uh, no. 20 minutes. Just let me know when it's ready. What is that? I feel like... Is that fish or chicken? What? 
Also, why did she not put down a cushion? You don't do straight wood when you're 600 pounds. That'll hurt your cheeks. I'm going to be dead within five years. Tell me when. That's a soft word in high school for my daughter. I feel Aww. like if I die, she's going to be the one that suffers more than anybody. True. It worries me for myself, but it terrifies me for Hannah. I don't even like to think about it, to be honest with you, but I mean... I mean, does it worry you at all for her? She's the one that's on death's door, playing tag with the Grim Reaper. But no, it worries me for myself, first and foremost. Then I think about the child. The wife, eh, take him or leave him. Like, that just seems so weird that he wouldn't think about it. He's worried about her first. Nope, it's all him. If anything did happen to Jalene, I know Hannah would be devastated. My daughter is an innocent victim in this, and she doesn't deserve it. I want her to be able to see that I can be a good parent. But something in my life has to change. True. My weight has gotten out of control. I can't continue living like this. I have to do something. Well, at least she realizes that, because if you realize the problem, you're miles ahead of other people. Because so many people just sit there and act like it's just going to happen itself. I have an appointment scheduled tomorrow with the weight loss surgeon, and I'm pretty nervous. I'm not sure what he's going to say. Maybe lose weight, but I don't know. I'm just guessing. out i'm just going to get one load of clothes from the dryer wipes me out okay doctor now i've been on a scale in a very long time so getting on a scale is going to be probably a huge eye opener i want to know affirmatively if he's going to perform a surgery on me if he's I mean, this is season two of the show, so I don't think they know. Doctor now gets up there to weights that other surgeons aren't comfortable with. My surgeon wouldn't operate until I was at least under 550, but I've seen Doctor now do it at like 700 sometimes, I think. Does know that I'm not a good candidate. It's going to be a long ride home. <sighs> okay. Where's her supportive husband? Hey, I don't know her. I don't want to know. I won't say it. You can say what? It. Also, she's got the right idea. Black is your favorite color when you're big. Because it makes you look skinnier. Hey. How are you? I'm okay. How about you? I'm fine, thank you. I'm Dr. Nazardin. All right. So what do you think is causing you to be almost 600? I Look at how young he looks. That sexy piece of man meat right there. The fat boy Grim Reaper. I didn't look at the scale. That's why. So... I'm a sugarholic. Sugar is my drug of choice. How do you look that surgery is going to change that? You're going to take out some of my intestines, and the second sugar hits my intestine, I'm going to be very sick. You gotta have to have some realistic expectation from surgery. All the surgery is gonna do for you, keep you from eating a lot at one time. How is that how it actually works? Because I actually didn't do any research. I told my surgeon, like, if he didn't get it out of there, I was gonna scoop it out with a spoon, because it just had to go. How many times you're gonna eat and what kind of food you're gonna eat is gonna be the key issue to make surgery be successful. Okay. If you have false hope that surgery is gonna keep you from eating sugar, no, that's not gonna happen. How many times you eat in a day? As many as I can. I, you know, it's I have a hole. I feel like I have a hole in my soul, and I'm trying to fill it up with sugar. I see. Jolly need to lose weight, but I'm concerned. She think uh, surgery is quick fix. I need to make sure. It's not. It's a grinding, grueling process because it, it, there's different obstacles. Like, people will say you took the easy way out. It's really not. It comes with its own set of consequences from acid reflux to 
GERD, waking up with vomit in your throat if you eat too close to like bedtime, to all the doctor's appointments. I had like a hundred doctor's appointments. It was unreal. Do she understand what it's gonna take for her to get ready for surgery? Charlie, you need to get ready by losing some weight on your own first. I need to see you lose at least 20 to 30 pounds. You have he to was easy. cut the calorie count down. But the key issue with it will be that you only eat two or three times a day, no snacking in between. If you don't adjust your mindset, this bypass is gonna fail. Okay. Okay. And we do that and we'll see how you do about two, three weeks. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Isn't it crazy to see how like easy he was on them before? I love the man's no nonsense approach. But 20 to 30, that's pretty easy when you're that big, to be honest. She could have a couple cheat days and still hit that. It's really hard. Well, it should be hard so that you know it's going to be really hard. That's what she said. We're not just going to leave you out there hanging by yourself. We're going to help you, Jonathan. If you get this size, I could die any day now. I mean, I could drop dead from a heart attack. I've waited too long to deal with this problem, so I have to do it. This is my last chance. Here, give me Damn, she pulls up to the front door so she doesn't have to walk, like, five extra steps. You really can be lazy at that size, but also you saw her out of breath just going to the friggin' washing machine. And it's like that. You walk to the bathroom and you're like pooped. Like you're tired. Hand up. Hee <laughs> hee. Thank you. One, two, three, pull. Damn. Thank you. This little girl's a weightlifter. Bodybuilder in the making. Starting today, I have to change everything about everything. I can't do what I want to do. I've missed out on so much. I want that to stop and I want things to change. So you want me to let you walk all the way over there and then I'm going to drive and I'm just going to watch you through the fence? Yes. You okay with that? Sure. You going to walk with them? Oh, this poor girl. Man, she can't even have her mom play with her at the park. She's just going to sit in the car and watch and she's going to entertain herself. She's probably a really creative girl because she's used to entertaining herself, but something about that's just heartbreaking to watch. Amy? Yeah, sure. Okay, thank you. You will go. Okay, her friends there at least. Anna, walk slow, please. Not a race. I'm tired of having to rely on other people to do the things that I want to do. I can't even walk around the gate to get into Hannah's favorite playground. Mark, this is the main playground. See, people will come out here and they'd ride their bikes. There's a whole bunch of swings. There's like 18 or something. I've missed out on so much of my daughter's childhood. I need to do this for her. Come on, let's swing. Look, your mama told me that I'm going to do it. That's so cute. She got so excited just to see her mother get out of the car and walk to the fence. That should tell you how bad this girl's just begging her mother to be part of her life. Hannah says it doesn't bother her, but I know it does. Where are you going? You don't need to come over here. I know. You can just go and swing. I know. I feel like my weight is costing her a normal childhood. I know I have to pick between being there for her and my addiction, but I believe I can do it. You can do it, and you have all the motivation in the world to want to, but like I always say, the only hole you can't dig yourself out of is the grave. So with a daughter like that, just begging for you to get healthy so you could be there for her, you have all the reason in the world to do it. Ms. John Lynn? I'm not going to lie, the past month has been tough. But I'm excited to see if all my hard work has paid off and I can finally get my surgery. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's really awesome. <laughs> I'm really excited. You did good. Thank you. Hi, Dr. Nelson. 
garden. She seems way more happy to be back in there, but the first 28 pounds, I bet she already feels some kind of relief on her knees and all that stuff. And Dr. Now smiling. If you came in there with 28 now in the current season, he'd tell you to get the hell back to work. That ain't nothing. You lost a few pounds, huh? Any difficulty with your diet or anything like that? Nope. Super. Um, Jolene uh, did okay today. She's proving that she can control her eating habit. I think she's ready to move forward and to get weight loss surgery. Uh, we're on the right track and we're gonna make progress and get you ready for surgery. Okay. okay? All right. That makes me happy. Thank All you. Right. All right, we'll see you then. This is so exciting. I'm so proud of myself right now. She should be, but approving somebody after, I think it said one or two months, I think, is kind of crazy because if you're doing it through insurance, like the natural way, instead of through a TV show, they're going to want you to have like so many months of consistent weight loss and you're going to have to, uh, what, what, what you call it, see a therapist. You have to do a whole bunch of stuff. It's just kind of crazy. Because you don't need to take your big suitcase. So, this is it. Tomorrow's the day. I am going to have weight loss surgery. It really did come up really fast. So is this the stuff you're bringing? Yep. Yesterday morning I told Gareth that surgery was on Wednesday. He's been telling me he's behind me with this surgery, but I don't think he actually thought I was going to go through with it. Pajamas? Oh, I don't think Buddy expected you to succeed because he saw how much you loved your donuts and how you described that little circle. So he didn't think there was no, and like any shot in hell you were going to be successful. And now he's kind of mourning the loss of the chub a little. Check. He says, I married you 10 years ago and you were a happy fat girl and I was happy to marry a happy fat girl. If you'd have told me 10 years ago I was marrying an unhappy fat girl, then maybe I wouldn't have married you. It's really hard to talk about Gareth because, you know, he he wants a fat wife. He wants what he's physically attracted to. That's what he wants. You little worm. Somebody heat up some jello and let this guy go to town. Because she needs to get healthy. Why would you not want to, like, have your wife be healthy and happy and there for your daughter? Like, it seems like your fetish is slighting your daughter. This That's just insane to me. I don't know why he can put that ahead of everything else in his life. He has a physical preference for his sexual needs that requires me to be bigger than, you know, just fat. I realized I've been telling myself a lie, and that lie was killing me. Big can't be beautiful when it means my daughter may not have a mother. True. He has no idea how close to death I feel oh, every day. Without this surgery, I'm going to die sooner rather than later with surgery. You don't see that many people up over 60, like 600 plus pounds, at least not in my experience. But she should be excited and also kind of nervous. You're kind of like scared right before the surgery at least. I'll be walking and moving and going. You know, he, he talks about... It's not that he will not be sexually attracted to me. It's that I'll be repulsive to him. I mean, I'm a little bit sad because, you know, you know, I like bigger women, so... It's a little upsetting to, to lose what you like. But, I mean, you know, you're going to have to get over it. You ready? This guy needs to be on a damn watch list. Like, he's just some kind of psycho. I don't know. Who doesn't want their wife to be healthy? And you have a young daughter at that. You have to be such a negative Nancy. I'm not, see. We'll see. Let's hope it doesn't turn around to bite us in the butt. I've always liked bigger women. You know, why saddle for a hot dog when you can have a steak? We're going now. All right, all right. I don't know what the future holds, good or bad. This is going to be hard to get in and out of. <laughs> yeah, that's a climb right there, all right. But also, I got somewhere he could stick that damn hot dog. 
but I know that I'm making the right decision for my daughter and I. Oh, I'll do it. Gareth isn't ready for me to start this journey. That if I don't do something drastic, I'm gonna be dead, and he's gonna be raising a nine-year-old daughter all by himself. We're doing a laparoscopic procedure on your abdomen. We're moving part of your stomach. So you okay, sweetie? Are you yeah. Sure? We're gonna take really good. I don't know why he wouldn't go with her. Like, I know he's against the surgery. Don't get me wrong. But at the same time, like, he's her support system or, like, part of it. I don't know. He kind of sucks. Care of you okay? I have an eight-year-old daughter. And, you know, I, what if I die and then she's motherless? I wish Gareth was here. Sometimes I wish he was a different person and could be here for me. Hello. Who you pictured in that place, huh? Because my girl is usually Channing Tatum. But I don't care what she's got to do, watch Magic Mike, whatever, as long as I get to make something disappear and do a magic trick at the end. Look at me in my fancy hat. I love you. I love you too. I know surgery is risky, but not having it is riskier. Right. Bye. I'm still scared. Nope. Oh, make you cry. I know. Okay. We'll come see you when you come back from Sleepy Dance. You die, you die. I mean, that's the fact of life. Everybody has a time. But I just worry about Hannah. I just want her to have a better life. That makes sense. But I think I had like a split second of nervousness. But after that, I was like, all right, let's get this puppy on the road. And her friend is such a great friend. Being there, helping take care of her daughter, that's the type of friends you want. Mother who can walk with her and be with her and play with her. So I have to come through this surgery with flying colors. Jalen is ready for her gastric bypass surgery today. Usually this type of surgery is much more difficult in patients that are very heavy, like Jalen is almost 600 pounds. So her surgery is gonna be a little bit challenging. 600 pounds is not room inside of the abdomen. The gastric bypass is a good treatment for these yeah, but that's why they want you to lose a lot of weight at first, and then they put you on that two protein shakes and, like, one meal a day of eight ounces of lean meat because it makes your liver shrink, and it's easier for them to go in laparoscopically and cut around your stomach. People that are more obese. Go forward. We divide upper part of the stomach and make a pouch. It will change the digestive system, so she'll be able to eat small amount and get full real quick and not be hungry. Are these pencils or markers? Let's try the brown. Okay. I'm afraid. I know it's a major surgery. I just want the risk of having the surgery to be worth it. All right, that looks good. I want her to be as successful as she can, and I want her to get her life back again. No? Jolene did very well and we were able to do the bypass on her. It was a little bit difficult because of her size. It's crazy to actually see what they did inside of me, because I can't even see the scars anymore on myself. Give her a little rub right there. You won't hurt her. Hey, Mom. Hey, baby. You okay? Mm-hmm. She's okay, Aunt. I promise she is. She's just sleepy. You want to go out and walk for a little bit? Oh. Yeah. Okay, let's go. But the first thing you're going to feel when you wake up is the overwhelming urge to burp, man. Because they pump your whole abdomen full of gas. And it just, it's so, that, that's the painful part. The feeling like you need to burp, but not being able to. 
And then you're gonna say, nurse, give me more of the good stuff until it goes away. The snack or drinks, there's vending machines right there. Okay. You were really, really brave all day long today, Anna. Yeah, we're just really relieved she's okay. I couldn't eat over 800 a day when I first started, so I'd be shocked if she gets 1,200 in, because they give you three, like, at least my hospital did, three of the Ensure Protein Maxes or whatever they are. I never finished one, and I would sip on it for like three hours. It was so hard to get down. I didn't even touch that stuff. My appetite is a little less, but I still want to eat. How? I'm surprised the food cravings are still here. But I have to do this. I just want to get up and walk. Wow. Can you believe it? What is going on with that? You are burning <laughs> up rubber out there. I did not. I mean, I don't think she was winning any speed trials, but yeah, she was walking. I was walking after surgery too. You have to, or they won't let you out of the hospital. I think you'd be moving along like that. She's supportive though. <laughs> Is it dad? It's dad, you want to talk to him? I knew oh, that it. worm. I haven't talked to my husband since surgery, and I don't know if he's gonna be supportive or if he's just not. Hello? Oh my God, I'm so happy you asked. I've lost 78 pounds. Oh my God, this guy is unwilling to part with a pound. He's seriously like, how much have you lost? Like, he sounded mad. She needs to lose a whole husband. That guy sucks. So you're sick? Why didn't you go to work? I couldn't sleep. Okay. On that note, I'm going to go ahead and go. I'll talk to you later. All right. Oh, talk to you later. I hope my husband will realize that I might need him and I might need his support to do this. Like, what is wrong with that guy? I don't know how she still has the urge to eat, but the way he's coming at her is like, I want you to fail so bad because I love having an immobile, weak, like mentally unstable wife. What a pitiful human being. I don't need to hear about what they had for dinner. I'm scared. Oh, I love you, pumpkin bear. I don't know what's gonna happen. Love you. Three days. Gareth insisted on picking me up today, and of course he's going to be late. Asking to be here at 11, but at 8.45 he still hadn't left home yet. I know somewhere inside of his heart he must care. I think he cares more about how many roles you have because for whatever reason he gets off to it, but I, he just doesn't want her to do better which seems so friggin' toxic. Like, it's disgusting. You did? Yeah. You haven't lost much weight yet. I was expecting to look a lot skinnier. Straight after, man. Well, I'm sorry oh, to disappoint you, you, but I haven't lost 75 pounds. I'm not looking to do no dieting, mind. I mean, I'll, I'll be considered range you eating, but I'm not looking to do no dieting. I don't think Gareth is going to be someone who's going to help me. Bye. Thank you. Care. All right. It's unbelievable that, for one, he never showed up. Two, when he does, he's late. Three, he insults her right off the bat. This is a guy that just wants to keep somebody down and make them feel worse because it makes him feel stronger as a man, I guess. But this is like, no men like guys like this, trust me. Like, he's just pathetic. Hello, baby. I'm the daddy. 
Oh, yeah, I smell bacon. Bacon makes everything right. Yeah, number five, medium with a Diet Coke. I don't watch Or get him a friggin' ice cream cone and jam it. Uh, I gotta say where I put it. Wait. Prison pocket. Don't be tempted, then. I'm not I'm even a little bit tempted. Don't be eating my food. Don't chip him. If he's going to go ahead and try and tempt me like this, it's hurtful. It's a little bit nauseating, to be honest. Oh, my burger. I think I married a jerk, but... Look, she needs to pitch that sucker right out the window and say, oops, it slipped. Because the fact that he's trying to get her to eat three days after surgery is super friggin' dangerous. Like, she can't eat. It'll rip those staples. She'll be right back on Dr. Now's table. I think he doesn't know any other way. I don't know if I'm going to have Gareth's support, but I can't turn back now. This is really hard. Change is hard. Changing is a work in progress. True. Okay. Let's see how Gareth the friggin... Oh, God, I hate that guy so much. Let's see how this jerk's doing. Over the past month, I've been trying to adjust to a new diet. It's not been easy. I need to have a lot of protein. And eggs have a lot of protein. My appetite is a little less, but I still want to eat. And I'm supposed to be eating runny eggs still, but... Yeah, you have to do a sauce scramble. As l if she could do that as long as she chewed it up, they'll tell you to chew everything like 30 times. But those eggs don't look very good. I wouldn't even attempt to eat a runny egg. Not even. If I eat something bad, my stomach hurts. I feel nauseated. I thought my biggest challenge would be overeating. Nope. Your biggest challenge is figuring out what agrees with you and what doesn't. Because certain stuff will be way too heavy. When I got to that stage, I think I was doing like tuna fish, but I was chewing it up really good, and that worked for me. And some soups and stuff like that. But yeah, eggs are good too. I just, I didn't feel like doing eggs. Oatmeal. Definitely the biggest challenge so far is just eating three times a day. Food was my comfort and my friend, and now it's just for survival. I actually don't know why she's eating three times a day, because she should be doing two or three protein shakes and eating once a day. That's what I did. I think I've had about all I can have. It's so strange when your whole relationship with food is turned upside down. But I'm taking it one step at a time. She's doing good, though. Since the surgery, probably at least once a week, I have a breakdown where I just cry because I miss my old friend, Sugar, and then I get over it. That's why they make you go to therapy because like clinical depression is a real risk after surgery, especially if you depend on food for comfort because your husband's not giving you any. That guy is the most detached, like just uninvolved person I think I've seen on the show. And I think him and Christian might be related from the last one, honestly. Because the choice I made was best for me. She smiled. Oh, hell yeah. Hello. Hi. You're doing good. See so how is your uh, scar and incision doing? Um, all of them look good. How is your diet coming along? Um, my diet, I really hate to eat. Nothing tastes good. I've been eating cottage cheese, yogurt, and soup. Jolene is... Yeah, that sounds perfectly reasonable. I think I had some mashed potatoes in there, too, because they just agreed with me. But it's really tough to figure out what you can and can't have. Because you could put a little bit of pepper on something, and that will make you throw up. But she's doing great how it is, so she's doing the right thing. Just keep that up. She's making some decent progress. She has lost 150 pounds for her first few months. 
but somebody in her size should lose at least 200 pounds. No should. way. Because I lost 90 in the first three months. She's on fire right there. I think she's doing, like, perfectly well. Could she do a little better? Sure. Could I probably have done a little better? Sure. There was still a little bit of sugar I was drinking here and there. I could have done better. But uh, as of this morning, I'm officially half the man I was at the start because I weighed in at 302.5. Should be losing more weight. How's your activity? In activity is more than it has been in the past, but I feel like I'm going to be able to kick it up. Okay. Let's see if we can get another 50 pound next month. Okay. You're going to be under 400 pound. The doctor was positive, so I'm really happy about that. But I've got to make more progress. They also tell you it goes in quarters, like the first three months, then the next three. It'll slow down over time. But I would say there's this, like, fear inside your head of working out at first because you couldn't walk that much. And you just think, like, I still can't do this. But you have to convince yourself that you can. So... I would say I was probably down about the same amount as her, like right here, when I started to kick up my working out and stuff like that too. I'm excited about seeing this trainer. Hi. Hi. I'm nervous that Gareth is gonna flip out when he finds out but I have to do this for me. So you had gastric bypass, right? Yes. Prior to that, were you doing any exercise? No. Okay. You see that friggin' chair, man? I used to hate those suckers because they dig in your thigh so bad. And she's caked up too, so her butt, I'm surprised she ain't snapping the arm of that thing because I did. What I want to do next is do some basic assessment so I can kind of see where you're at. Breathe it out four. Roll it back, up five. I want to be a mom. I want to be active. I want to be mobile. Pump them out, 28, and time, relax. Just making myself go. You got this, you got this, you got this. Push it out, push it out. Jalen is the largest person that I've ever personally trained. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just concerned about her staying consistent and really grabbing onto this as a lifestyle change because it's going to take her a lot of time to get to where she I mean, she's got the will to do it. You could see, she's got all the reason in the world with her daughter, the husband, she probably needs that surgically removed too because that guy sucks. But she's got it. Like, she's working hard. And that's what I like to see off the start because I, sometimes it's hard for people to get that mindset switched where they're like, look, I'm going to be successful and there's no other option. It needs 44 to be. 44 and time. 45. Great job. Great job. You know, overall, I'm actually pretty impressed with where you're at. You don't have a ton of restrictions, um, honestly, considering your weight. Mm -hmm. Great job. All right. Thank you. Yeah, great job. I feel really good right now. I feel like I'm on top of the world. But now I have to go home and tell Gareth, and he's probably not going to... You might need a new windshield while you're at it, but I don't know if the donuts did that or something. Maybe them suckers were hot, cracked the glass. Oh, that reminds... One time I had a crack in mine, and I turned the heat on in winter, and I didn't know that would make the sucker crack the whole way across. That sucked. Be so excited for me. I mean, you know, rather than going to some city class where you're paying $50, why don't you stand simple? Rent the house. Grab the vacuum. Break a sweat. Yeah, why don't you stick something in the vacuum, you thick em thasher freaking sicko? I don't like that guy. Like, I just want to, well, I don't know if I'm allowed to say what I want to do on YouTube. I would get in trouble for bullying. But I worked out in my prison gym at home first, too. You hungry, Hannah? Yes. What you want? I don't know. I'd rather have a salad. I'm not buying you a salad. If you want to eat grass, you can go in the garden and graze. Guys, please give me more fresh cream. Keep your fresh cream shape on the back, you know. What is this guy's obsession with the freaking Hoover? The Hoover Humper, the Honey Bun Humper, whatever's wrong with this dude. But vacuums are not the end-all be-all. Why don't your ass clean? Why did you have to marry him? Hannah, I married him because if I hadn't married him, I wouldn't have you, baby. So, worth it? No, I agree with Hannah. It wasn't worth it. 
Oh, when your kid realizes you suck, man, you really suck. This is an unhealthy relationship for anyone. It makes everything harder. No. I'm glad to be like my mom. Huh? Oh, you're like your mom, all right. Why would you ever verbally go in on the mother of your child in front of her? There, I don't think there's any reason to ever do that. You're just going to traumatize that child. Like, if me and my girl were to fight when we have kids, it's not going to happen in front of that child. I will walk the hell away. Because saying nasty little things like that only makes you look worse. Like, you're not winning that argument, buddy. Suck down that Diet Coke and... Oh, I hate that guy. I know that my relationship, I need to make a change. But I don't think I can do two hard things at once. That's what she said. I can't stop, guys. Damn. Even though I know there are people in my life who are going to be against me, I'm finding new ways to make the most of this experience. But to beat this addiction is the hardest daily struggle I have. It's a process for sure. She's killing it, man. This is the lowest I've been in a long time. I'm less than 400 pounds. Now my relationship with food is all about fuel. Yeah, I really don't find the same pleasure I used to in food or going out to eat. It's like, man, what do I have to eat to get by? I'm counting calories in my head all day. It's kind of crazy how it can shift like that. Because before, man, I would be all excited to eat something I wanted. But she's got a thing of tuna fish. Like, she's on fire. And she'll be below the 300 in no time, probably, the way she's going. And I can't wait to say I'm under 300 because that's been since I was like a freshman in high school. This packet has 18 grams of protein and only 80 calories for the whole packet. What the hell's that crap? Kitty. Tuna and avocado. It takes work every single day. The food cravings are still there. I would very, very easily be able to go back to the place I was at. But I have to move forward one step at a time. And and I if you take it slow and take the small victories and the little things, it, it won't feel as bad, I think, because you're like working up to it. If you sit there and look at the amount you have to overcome and you think like, oh, I have to do this tomorrow, it's just not going to happen. You're going to make yourself miserable. But just taking the small victories will make it way easier on you. I have a goal of doing a 5K in April. So I really have to stay on the diet. I have to continue to lose weight, stay Damn. focused on this weight loss and physical fitness so that our goal can be reached. OK, so we're going to head up Cedar Flats Trail today. At every bench, we're going to do an upper body exercise to rest your legs. OK. Holy shit, she's trying to run a 5K already? She's trying to get the hell away from that husband, man. She's trying to get in her best shape and find her a young man, because that guy sucks. Okay. This will be a really good visual for you to see how much you improved. Okay. Yesterday morning, you got on the scale and weighed how much? 399. That's awesome. I was, I was like, <laughs> if I could jump for joy, I would. There you go. Okay, I have to slow down. That's all right. <sighs> Grab the handles, work the upper body for about a minute, curl it up. Good. Curl it up, breathe it out. Slow on that release. Good. I feel like I can... Bro, those resistance bands, I break the biggest sweat when I'm messing with that sucker because I use one of those too every day. I feel fat, Bernie. Get this <laughs> awesome. good. I'm really thirsty. It feels so great after working out. That half mile was amazing. I'm happy to drink water, but... Every once in a while, I do still indulge. May I get a large diet Dr. Pepper, please? Okay, you want a large fry and a large Dr. Pepper? No, 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 no fry. Uh, well, you're not supposed to drink carbonation. Yeah, I've heard it stretches out your stomach, but I also would drink soda every now and then. I would just let it go flat. Again, that's not medical advice, so do, do not do that. Sean is not a doctor, but yeah, I mean, once in a while, whatever like i don't think it's that bad but i couldn't do that though it had to be flat tastes like 
perfectly gold. Almost as good as that donut, huh, lady? <laughs> and now it's gonna hurt for a minute because all the air is in my little stomach. It does hurt. I have to break Dr. Nell's rules in order to make this diet really successful. Because, you know, I do still have to live and enjoy life. Wouldn't recommend that. That's how far I walked. Three feet? Ten uh, feet? No. Gareth has just been chipping away at me. <laughs> so I guess you're gonna cry all afternoon there, but your legs and knees hurting? You know, I learned a long time ago, you can't change other people. You're so sweet, honey. That's nice. Now I have to rely on myself for happiness. Uh, yeah, but happiness should come from within anyway. You should be really proud of yourself at how much weight you've lost. And that guy's opinion doesn't matter for nothing, because he sucked from day one. I don't know why you married that dude, because honestly, I highly doubt that he was ever any different than that. That guy just seems like a jerk through and through. I'm going to see Dr. Now, and Hannah came with me. I have no idea how much weight I've lost since I was here last. Right. Okay. Are you gonna look? Nope. Isn't it crazy to see how, like, she slimmed down, especially in the waist? Because that lady was all ass. But she's definitely slimming down. I'm not looking. <laughs> yeah, she didn't lose weight. more? How many times are you eating? Three, sometimes two times a day. No snacking. Oh, what are you drinking? Water. Maybe I have a Diet Coke. Diet Coke? Once a week, maybe. Diet Coke is not recommended after bypass surgery. I know, I don't. It's not something that I normally do, right? What do I normally get when I when we go somewhere? Water. Water or tea. Oh, yeah, you brought her along. She's talent. She's going to snitch on you over and over. But, yes, you're not supposed to have carbonation. And the fact that she didn't lose more is what typically happens to people after surgery. Because you're good for the first year, right? And then your stomach starts to get back to normal. Like, my stomach's growling right now. There's no way I'm going to eat because right now it's, what, about 3.30ish? I'm not going to eat till 6. So I'm going to be hungry, and I'm just going to push through. Yeah. She's cheating, and she's drinking carbonated drink that will stretch her stomach to a larger size. Somehow you need to sharpen up these... Um eating habit to be a healthy, low-calorie, low-fat diet. Thank you, Dr. Now. Bye-bye. If she doesn't stay on track, it's going to be harder for her, and she may start gaining weight. Let's get out of here, pumpkin. I think in my head, what could you have done better? You should have done this better. Thank you so much. Yeah, but it's all a mental battle with yourself, and you're beating yourself. I don't know if maybe the husband has a little to do with that, because she's in a very high stress situation, so she might be turning to food a little more. But she should still be losing weight, especially at 400 pounds. Mine slowed down right around there to probably about 2 pounds a week, maybe a little more. But right now it's about a pound and a half a week. So in the next couple weeks I'll be under 300. But yeah, she should definitely still be losing. So she's screwing something up. I have to do it. I have to figure it out. Not now, in the back. Damn, I thought she was a success story. I still have trials and tribulations. I still have stuff I'm getting accustomed to, but I definitely can look in the mirror and be overjoyed with where I've come from. Okay, one year. I realize this is a long journey, but I have to stay focused so that I can be healthy and be the mom that Hannah needs me to be. Marathon, not a sprint. But also, did you notice how her thigh is no longer driving the car? Isn't that crazy how, like, much you can shrink? Because she had to have lost probably a good 14, 16 inches off her waist. I'm officially, like, 22, 24 inches off mine. Hannah is definitely my biggest motivation. Doing things with her is really important. I certainly can feel the difference in what we do and the time we spend together. Hannah, have you ever seen me sit in a swing before? No. A year ago, I couldn't walk this far and play with Hannah at the playground. I would have to sit on the other side of the fence and watch. 
So it feels amazing that I can make it this far and back. It's really amazing. It has to feel good to be get that going far with her. Going to see Dr. Now for my appointment. I have no idea what the scale's gonna say. Didn't she say at the starter scale goes to 500? Because if she doesn't know, then she's just willfully ignorant. Now, don't weigh yourself every friggin' day. Once a week or every other week, I'd recommend, because then you'll see, like, substantial losses, and it'll motivate you more. Hello. Hey. I just feel really healthy. That's oh, okay. the difference. How do you feel about that? That's awesome. You're doing excellent, excellent. From 600 pounds to 350, uh, if you keep it up, pretty soon you're going to be under 200 pounds. Yeah, definitely. I'll see you later. All right, sounds good. Thank you. She feel good. She eating good. Jesus. She's going back on track and start making progress again. I'm proud of myself every single day. It's just little tiny victories that makes this journey really unbelievable. I mean, I'm happy for her, but I'm even more happy for her daughter, because that's who I was worried about. Because that dad seems so disinterested in even being a part of that family unit. They'd be better off without him, to be honest. I think she's just looking for a new guy so she can slip out on him at this point. She should be, at least, trying to find somebody behind the scenes, a little sneaky link or something. We're going to do this one next. Today, Good. I was Arm. supposed to do a 5K downtown San Antonio with Hannah. Unfortunately, I twisted my ankle, and now I'm laid up with this big boot on my leg and crutches. I'm going to be Okay. I don't consider this day lost, even though we can't do the 5K. I mean, she's doing really good, don't get me wrong. But she's not a track star yet. She's st still 350 pounds. So a 5K, probably a little ambitious. But she'll get there at the rate she's going. She's doing great. But I don't think she should push it that hard yet, probably. I don't know. We're still just going to hang out, make a healthy dinner, and um, just make the best of the day. Where do I pour it? Uh, not yet, babes. We're going to make spaghetti squash with some chicken breast. Is it ready? It should definitely be ready. It actually don't taste bad. I'm kind of surprised. Cook it is definitely not your forte. I'm actually still pretty shocked at her portion size already. Because I know that whatever she's already ate, I don't think I could get the rest of that down. And I'm, what, 22 months out of my surgery at this point? It's kind of crazy. But if you stretch it back out, like she's drinking carbonated stuff and eating more, I don't even know how she's stomaching, like, tomato sauce because that would make me like have acid reflux but yeah the second you feel full you have to stop life i don't know why gareth is the way he is i think there might be a point in our marriage when i'm not able to take it anymore Divorce. i don't know what that point is i don't know but when i'm there i'll know it come here hannah let me brush your hair babes so until then the greatest joy in my life is being this little girl's mother. She's the reason I'm doing all of this. Yeah, you probably need to exercise that demon named Gareth and get him up out of that house. I don't know. He, you can come back if you want him back. Just pull out a Ouija board. He'll come. Oh, my God. They fit. It's been like seven years since I've worn a pair of jeans. Get moving, babes, please. I'm really excited to go riding horses with my mom today. She's gonna ride a horse? I wouldn't recommend that yet. I mean, horses still have backs. You're not that small yet. I ain't hopping up on nobody's pony like that. I'd kill the damn thing. This journey is a long, long road, but... Hello? Hi. For Hannah, you just licked me. I feel like we are on the right path. I'm scared I'm gonna fall. You'll be fine. I love myself enough to make better choices. You can smile and wave a little. And to be stronger. <laughs> Beautiful! It's good to have my mom like every step of the way, not just like a few steps. I had fun today. I'm a work in progress. But I hope that Hannah learns that no matter what the obstacle, 
you can overcome it. True. My life is amazing now. I'm really proud of myself. Every day is a brand new day and it brings brand new awesome challenges. Do you want to do it again? Yeah. I mean, I'm proud of, like, for her. Ultimately, she got to be the mom that she wanted to be the whole time. The husband, that guy sucks. That jackal's got to go right now. I would say divorce is probably the next thing you need. Surgery to remove that guy. But she's working and working and working. And she'll get where she wants to be eventually. Maybe she'll get to ride the horse with her next time. I don't know. I wouldn't risk it. I'm not that light yet. But her daughter has to just feel so much better and just happy to have her mother there with her. So it just shows that your hard work will pay off eventually. But uh, yeah, that's it for this one and her sucky husband. So alright guys, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you later. Bye.